in this episode we are going to solve this example to determine the value of a for which the magnitude of reaction at b is 800 newton so we have a simple diagram with structures so that is fixed by pin at a and we have a ruler at b we also have a vertical force over there so we want the distance a such that the system will be balanced or be kept in equilibrium so let's first get the free body diagram from this structure so our solution this is going to be simple let's try to draw the free body diagram so i'll detach it from the its support i'm going to get this way i have and I will also take out the ruler and I'm going to get it this way. So let's assume this is my free body diagram. I have it this way. Now we can see that we have a vertical force here, which is giving us 320 newtons. Are we okay? Since at the A we have a pin, we are going to have two reactions. So we have the horizontal, which is A in the X direction, and we are going to have the vertical part, which says A in the Y direction. We also have the ruler, which is going to give us a horizontal reaction at B. But let's take note, B is 800 newtons. Are we okay? So we can include the dimensions from the figure. We can see that from this part to this part is 80 mm. We also have from this part to the force is giving us the distance A, what we are interested in. And from this to the last point is also giving us 240 mm. So this is our diagram. Now we can use summation of forces on the X, summation of forces on the Y, and take moments before we can determine the unknown. But there is also a principle that can help us to get the value of A very simple. So in this episode, we are trying to adopt a new star of solving such question without using the summation of forces on the X, and those stars. So here what we have to do is we can replace this reaction force, that of AX and AY by a single force. Is that true? Yes. We can replace these two forces by a single force that can produce the same effect as them. So let's assume maybe this is the single force. Let's call it A. So A Remember, if we have an angle theta, meaning A can be resolved onto the X and can be resolved onto the Y to obtain these reactions. Please do you get it. So meaning we have a reaction force or a resultant force that is going to produce the same effect for both AX and AY. From our previous examples, we solved how or we solve the question and we were able to get the resultant for the reactions. So here we are going to apply that knowledge. What we have here is we are now replacing these two reactions with a single force that is going to produce the same effect. So we have it this way. So instead of writing AX, AY, we are just replacing it with this single force. And now look at this. If this single force I'm going to trace, I'm uh, I can trace it this way. I can trace it to this part, right? And I can also trace this B force to this part. Now, what we are seeing is at this point, we have an angle. Let's call it beta here. Yeah. We have an angle that this force is forming over here. This same angle is the same as here. We also have beta. Because this is the angle this force, A force is making with the horizontal. And here too, it is the same force and it is making the angle with the horizontal. Now we have this in mind. We can use an idea 
anytime I draw a vertical to that, this vertical will represent this 320 force. Are we okay? This same triangle, let me call it triangle one, is the same triangle formed here. So this vertical line is the same as this vertical force. Are we okay? So now that we understand it that way, let's get to the analysis. We can use angles. So using the idea of angles, we can find, let's do the, so this is the A. I can use the first triangle. Based on the first triangle, we are going to find beta. And we say here is also 80 mm, yes, because this vertical force has the same distance here, which is 80 mm. So we have 80 at the opposite direction, and at the adjacent, we have the distance to be A. So can we say using tan beta, which is opposite, we have 80 over the adjacent of the triangle, which is A. Here, our interest can be the A, which is equal to 80 on and beta. So let's call this equation 1. So we have the distance A expressed in terms of equation 1. Are we okay? So now, let's also use force diagram, what we call the force diagram. We have three forces in this or acting on this structure three forces so with these forces let's try to draw a triangle from the forces looking at the free body diagram now we have this reaction force which represents the resultant effect of ax and ay over here we have this vertical down here and we have b this way so i can draw a triangle out of it we can see that the a resultant is going this way the vertical is also coming this way and the reaction at B is also moving this way. So we can call this as A. We can call this as the vertical, which is the 320 Newton force. We can call this as the horizontal force, which is B. Are we okay? And B is also 800 Newton. Remember when these forces, they meet, this represents the horizontal, they still form the angle beta over here so meaning we are going to still have our beta over here so from this small triangle or from the first triangle we can also again have tan beta which is going to give us opposite which is the 320 over the adjacent which is 800 meaning our tan beta is going to be 0 0.4 so we now know the value of tan beta that means from equation one, we can say that the A is going to be 80 on tan beta, which is 0 0.4. And when you punch this, your A is going to be 200. And we are working in millimeters. This is already in millimeters. So this is the value of A for which the magnitude of the resultant is 800. So the value of A is going to be 8. 200 that is 200 millimeters so we have it as 200 millimeters so this is also a new way of finding a parameter and it is very simple you can adopt the style of solving questions you can also go through the normal approach by finding moment summing forces but that is too long if you understand this it is quite simple thank you for your time Check out for the next episode so that we dive more deep into forces and its analysis. Subscribe to the channel, like and share your comments.